Today on Pollen Weather, the southeast dries out enough for the pollen to rebound, and Sacramento is moldy, very moldy. Welcome to Pollen Weather by PollenWise App. It's Thursday, October 8th. I'm Landon Bunderson, and this is the place for daily allergy news and forecasts. Hurricane Delta is headed for the Gulf Coast and will probably make landfall on Friday somewhere between Texas and Louisiana. Looking at the overnight lows from last night for the country, still no frost. A good hard frost will kill all of those annual weeds that are dominating the pollen counts across most of the country, so we're watching closely for frost. Unfortunately, frost won't end sagebrush season, so that might be with us a little bit longer. Just a reminder, if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. As I mentioned in the teaser, the pollen levels in the southeast have rebounded. High conditions from the Carolinas south to Florida. I think we'll see some even higher pollen levels on Friday. The northeast is low to moderate, though I know some of you are still feeling the effects even with the lower levels. We can see it in your symptom scores. The rest of the country is going to be slightly lower than it was yesterday, but the pollen indices are still high and very high. A few more bright spots are out west in Southern California and Seattle. Oklahoma, Missouri, and Iowa are among the worst spots for allergies today. High and very high pollen. And over on the mold index map, we've got 80s and a 90 forecasted in that region. But honestly, mold is quite high all over. Sacramento is going to be the worst location today, peaking at 95 on the mold index. And don't be surprised if it surges higher, even up to 100. The southeast mold levels are moving upward and will likely continue to do so through Friday and Saturday. Today on the air quality, we're going to look at the particulate matter counts all by themselves. These are the particles in the air that are small enough to irritate and cause problems. California has two regions, north and south, that are the source of the smoke particles. But as you can see, the smoke is blanketing a lot of Utah and Nevada as well. The fires on the border of Colorado and Wyoming are also sharing their smoke downwind. Kansas, Nebraska, and Oklahoma are getting the brunt of that. The one bright spot for smoke is the chance of rain in Northern California over the weekend. I know the locals are keeping a close eye on that. Today's feature is the bar graph race from Tuesday 1 to 5 p.m. Central Time. We do this bar graph race to remind people how much pollen levels can fluctuate throughout the day. This is the reason you need the PollenWise app. Things are always changing. As we look at the bar graph race, Phoenix has the top spot at 1 p.m. And at 2 p.m., Salt Lake City is barely edging it out. But by 3 p.m., Salt Lake City drops off and Phoenix holds the top spot for the rest of the period with Las Vegas in second place. That's it for today. Thanks for listening. Remember, you can find previous episodes on the Pollen Channel on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, check out the PollenWise app, the only place for real hourly pollen and mold counts.